Hi guys, in the last video, we stopped at um, the data types and primitives and um, I have this window open in the Mozilla Developer Network and I said we're going to um, dive a bit deeper in each of them. So this video, we're going to talk about the null um, primitive, the null data type and I'm going to give you a few examples for you to understand how to use it in your scripts. So, uh, of course, you can always check the documentation yourself and read about it. The point of this video is to um, write a bit of code and understand uh, what happens uh, depending on um, the conditions or whatever we write in here. So, um, I have this blank sheet here. Um, it's connected. This is the live server and I have Visual Studio Code open. So, uh, here I've declared a variable and we talked about variable declaration in a previous tutorial from this playlist. So, I'm going to now uh, see what this gives us if I use document.writes, which we also covered in a previous video. And I'm going to pass in here the null primitive variable I created, and we should get undefined on this page. So um, this is the actual value uh, that this um, variable has because we haven't initialized it, we haven't passed any value to it. So um, now I can also do this equals null, and I'm going to get null. So the point here is null is a primitive, okay? It means there is nothing, there is no data available, there is no object identified to return or anything. So in case uh, you're asking yourself, is null, um, the null primitive the same thing as undefined? No. So let's see if this is uh, actually the case in JavaScript. So I'm going to have a new variable here and I'm going to have um, null evaluation and I'm not going to initialize it. So this is going to be equal to um, undefined. And now I'm going to evaluate. In JavaScript, if I use a uh, triple equal sign, it means I want to evaluate. If two values are the same in terms of um, the content, the value, and um, like the actual value, and also the data type, the type of, um, of the value. So if I have null primitive, this one is null. And I'm going to evaluate if it is the same thing as null evaluation, which is undefined, and I will get false. Okay, now um, you need to be uh, careful because if you remove one equal sign, it will give you different results, but that's for another video. For now, I just want you to know that null is not the same thing as undefined. So the confusion here can be, um, you can ask yourself, when do we use null or when will I get a null value? Well, let's say, for instance, uh, you are dealing with um, a data set or you're expecting data from a source and there is no data available to be returned. There is no object available. There is no value available to return to you. Usually you will get null. So let's see an example of that. I'm going to write a code where I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some um, alphabet, some characters, okay, some characters from the alphabet uh, if they are contained in the string. So I'm going to have string evaluation. And I'm going to use a string object. I'm going to create a string dog. And then I'm going to check if it matches any of these characters that I'm, I have here between these uh, square brackets. I should get null. Okay. So this means there was no character to be returned. The string dog does not contain A. It does not contain E. And uh, it doesn't contain I either. So if I had a different string, for instance, uh, German Shepherd. Now I have the first E to be returned, the second E, the third E. I also have the A here that I omitted from German, right? So these are the characters from my string uh, that match uh, what I have uh, here, this set of characters. So uh, this actually is called uh, regular expressions. We can cover that in a future video. So it's supposed to return me these characters, right? Or any characters uh, from whatever I have between these square brackets uh, from this string is going to return them. But if I have here, um, let's say um, book again, it doesn't contain anything. So there is nothing to return. So it gives me null. So quick takeaway from this video, you can say in uh, JavaScript, null usually equals nothing okay there is nothing uh, identified no objects no value no data all right so that's when you will get null now i don't want to stretch this video too much because it's it's a simple uh, concept uh, i'd rather 
you leave your comments uh, down below and you ask me if you have any questions but for now if you enjoy this video and you like it please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications we will look at um, other data types and primitives in the next videos from this js for beginners series so stay tuned